we looked at genetic associations and found very important large differences between the different bins in terms of genetic associations. Genetics is biology, so it's one example of biological differences between people in these different groups. And that suggests the possibility that there may be different responses to treatments, a personalized medicine approach. And it's very encouraging that we found really strong genetic signals through much of the genome where those are places that we've not ever targeted before in thinking about Alzheimer's disease. So novel targets that we can now pursue and the idea that they may be specific for one subgroup really provides a very different path forward than the rest of the field has been taking to this point. And it's very encouraging that we found really strong genetic signals through much of the genome where those are places that we have not ever targeted before in thinking about Alzheimer's disease. So novel targets that we can now pursue and the idea that they may be specific for one subgroup really provides a very different path forward than the rest of the field has been taking to this point. Genetics is biology, so it's one example of biological differences between people in these different groups. And that suggests the possibility that there may be different responses to treatments, a personalized medicine approach. So that's very exciting. So when we treat it as multiple different things, we find much stronger signals than when you treat it as if it's all one homogeneous thing. So there's a lot of people who should be interested. And I don't know that that will happen, but it, it, in a way it should. Uh, it should be very exciting to those individuals um, for those purposes to see if we can find a way forward. By the time people are diagnosed with dementia, um, they have a lot of brain damage, a lot of neurons that have died already. Um, and it's not like cancer. There's nothing to kill and attack. You don't want to kill the heck out of Alzheimer's disease because it's us. It's our brains. They're, they're breaking down in a way that we don't completely understand still. So it's a very different sort of philosophy, more of protection and of, of maintenance. So we need to understand the processes that are involved and we need to design treatments that maintain brain health uh, as long as possible while stopping the processes that are causing the neurodegeneration.